Hello everybody, it is Kodiak here, and I am bringing you that video I promised, and what the crap's going on, that video I promised about, uh, my YouTube stress reliever life, um, it's all a little bit more personal, so I'm a lot, uh, my parents don't understand, and I hope that they don't get mad at me for saying this in this video, but it has nothing with YouTube stressing me, it's with real life stressing me and YouTube relieving me, uh, just I'll just get right into it but um anyway today's video is uh how YouTube is like my stress reliever my painkiller whatever you want to call it it's uh you guys when you comment like subscribe it just makes my day and a day without a comment or a day without a like on this channel is like really upsetting because Every like, every comment, every sub is one step closer to my dream job, which is to do this for a living. Like, I'm definitely thinking and considering other jobs I, I could do, but I'm only 13. I don't really need to worry too much, but just because there's so many other YouTubers out there that are somehow growing so rapidly, I just don't know the secret. Um, I'm trying to get on community channels, but every time I do, nothing ever happens. I always get shut down or anything, but I'll try to upload more uh, community channels because it would be really nice for the exposure. Um, I'll try to get on TSG or some COD Ops, whatever, because I can be a really fun, energetic person. I really want to bring that somewhere else, but this is a darker uh, tone of commentary. But um, school stresses the living crap out of me. Like, people, like, older people that are out of, uh, intermediate school, or, uh, middle school, whatever you want to call it, don't get it anymore, they just, they don't realize how stressful it is now, there are multiple things I gotta worry about just with school, and then with home stuff, too, and the thing is, home stuff and school stuff, no one care, both sides don't care about each other, so you can have, like, an uncle die in the middle of school not he's at school you get a call and you gotta leave and the first thing your teacher is gonna do is tell you make sure you get that homework done it's like you inconsiderate fool that's just not something you do I would be saying no homework for the rest of the week for you no homework for everybody that's just something that's sad you know we need to we need to have this time to mourn like uh, I w convince your parents to let you stay home. Don't even. Whoa! What the crap was that? Oh my god! What was that? But it's like school. Well, and my uncles never, or any of my family never died in school. I'm just giving an example. But and that's never happened to anybody I know, which I'm really thankful for. I would not want to see anybody have their family member die while they're in school and then get homework given to them but like what I'm just saying like your school life and your home life are like two different things they constantly counterflict with each other and especially everybody says be yourself don't have an alter ego but you kinda need to now just um and a lot of people would say that I'm popular but I'm popular for a certain reason that I'm not too proud of I'm a uh, what mo I'm just gonna, I'm a heavier set person, or if you truly don't know what that means, I'm kind of fat, I'm a little chubby, which I'm not afraid to admit that, I love food, so, um, yeah, it's just who I am, you know, if you don't like it, screw off, I don't care, but, um, it's just who I am, and everybody used to make fun of me for it, and then I found out the trick of making it a joke on myself. And that's where everybody thought I was cool because I made jokes of myself. It's like, I have some friends that will truly want to hang out with me. And then I have other friends that, uh, well the same friends that truly want to hang out with me will become just absolute D-bags. Or deluja do bags uh, around uh, the other people that kind of make fun of me, but they want to hang out with me because they think I'm funny because I make fun of myself. But otherwise, everybody else thinks I'm a pretty funny guy. Within it. I'm just 
I'm, it's not just because of that, I'm actually, everybody says I'm actually pretty funny. Someone's already at 29 kills, that's amazing. But, um, I am doing this live com, by the way. But, the thing is, it's like, I shouldn't be as popular as I am because of that. And, not only do I gotta worry about that, I gotta worry about my schoolwork. I struggle in school really bad. It's super hard for me. Um, there's just something about it. I can get things done. I can learn things pretty quickly, but it's when I'm forced to that I don't learn it well and fast. Uh, especially when the teachers ha have a one-day lesson plan that you're they're on, they're only going to give you one day to learn it, and then it's a test the next day because it was such an easy subject. Mainly, I'm talking about math. Math is just horrible. My math teacher's alright, but he sucks so much. Giving out homework almost every day. Giving out tests every other day. Giving one day lessons. Um, I struggle so much in math that I got put in a special period uh, for our class uh, time. Just for extra help in math. But, uh, yeah, that's enough of that. And it's just... After all that hard days of work, I come home, I play video games for a bit, and then I and I'm, I can get pretty mad at games, but I get over it really fast. But when I press that record button on the Elgato Fraps, there's just something about it that really lights my day up, and it makes me feel happy. Like... I have a feeling, I just have a gut feeling that my parents are going to get mad at me or upset with me because I can just tell they don't like it when I discover it because I, I'm a lot smarter than they might think, but, or I'm a lot smarter with people's emotions and feelings when, for then a 13 year old boy should be, so I think they don't like that, but because I figure out their like little parent code all the time, you know. I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that, but some of you should. Let's go for a trick shot. Just for fun. But, like, they don't want me to... I can just, like, I have a feeling that on the other... They don't want me to do this, but on the other side, they support me to do this because it's my dream job. It's like, they would prefer I'd go out and do some, like, sports. I don't like sports. They always want me to do sports. They make that pretty obviously by telling me I need to do track again, which I hated track. Not because there was a lot of running, but it was just stupid. I didn't like it. I'm not a huge sports guy. I'm a gaming guy. I just don't like sports. And, uh, it's just, just who I am. You know, I, not everybody has to like video games, and I'm perfectly okay with that. As long as you're okay with me not liking sports. But, yeah. Before I ramble on about my parents, I just want to say thank you guys for all the likes, subs, comments. It just makes my day. Like, I get such a nice feeling when I come home from a hard, hard day at school. Like, so you'd only hear that like a hard day at work, but no, it's a hard day at school. You can have a tough day at school. And I'm only an intermediate, and I'm not excited for high school just because of how stressful it's going to get. It's Sometimes I can't wait for the day till I graduate high school just because I'm so fed up with school, teachers, the retarded kids that always sit there, will want to be your friend one day, and then turn on you and go tell the vice principal. Right, i got to tell you another story about that just while we're here. I got this uh this new girl came in. She's pro she was probably there for three days. I introduced myself, just being nice. She was a grade younger than me. She was a grade lower than me. I'm in this class called Read 180 for extra help for uh reading. I told you guys I struggle in school. But I tested out of it, don't worry, don't worry. But uh I she sat right next to me and I'm just like, alright, I'll introduce myself because I'm gonna have to talk to her one time or another so might as well tell her my name I'll get her name so we don't have that awkward situation where the teacher pairs us up for random reason I would never pick her on my own because she's really ugly and someone's walking by time to be quiet 
And I think that guy just hit a shot on me. Oh, yeah, he did not. Oh, no, he just gave up. That's sad. But, like, she, I've introduced my name, and then, like, everybody's talking, like, she likes me and everything. It's just, it was ridiculous. She was talking really nasty things. I had to help her on the computer, and that was something I will regret for probably the rest of my intermediate life. It was horrible helping her with that computer, getting her set up on it. I just, ugh, things she said I can't even say on here because of my parents. Otherwise, I would tell you it's just nasty. Very nasty. I was like, don't talk to me like that. That's nasty. Then two days later, she goes and tells me to our vice principal, Mr. Fox, and he gets all mad at me because he is the biggest hypocrite in the world. I don't even know the word for it. Like, he will be on your side if you're the one who tattletailed. You could be lying about it the whole time, and he will be on your side because you're the one who told on him, to, told on you, on the people. <sighs> he's just annoying and I'm about to just yell at him like I fight with teachers but anyway before I get too carried on I'll have to catch you guys later for the next commentary uh, leave topic suggestions down below game suggestions just any suggestion any comment anything just 